Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. In this video, I will show you how you can use the hide and show features to create basic animations in RoboDK. Let's get started. As mentioned in the previous video, the goal here is to use the hide and the show features to create an open and closed animation for the gripper. But before we do that exactly, I want to show you the concept a bit more in details. So let's start by creating a new station. So control N or file new station. And in the folder I provided you, you have phone case here and phone, phone case RDK logo. So let's bring those two here. If we were to move one, let's say move the RDK logo to the side using the X axis, you would see that both of those are pretty much exactly the same. The only difference we have is this uh, RoboDK logo right in the middle. So let's bring that back to zero. So let's say that we want to create a station and we want to show uh, some steps taking place on the, the, on the object. So we want to show that we are actually, in this case, let's say stamping the phone case with a RoboDK's logo. What we could do is simply have the blind uh, phone case and uh, visible and the one with the logo invisible and simply switch the visibility from one state to the other and this way kind of create an animation appear that will appear like uh, the stamp was actually applied on the surface of the on the surface of the phone case so to do that it's pretty simple first you need to hide the version of the logo you don't want to see so let's start by hiding the phone case RDK logo. So now we have the phone case in its uh, raw form, if I can say. We need to create a program here and we will call that, I don't know, in this case, uh, show logo. Okay. So the first step of show logo will be to add a simulation event instruction. And here under action, we will select show object here and we will get here a list of all the objects available in our station and we can select which object we want to show so in this case we will show uh, phone case rdk logo perfect and then the goal will be to hide the one we don't need anymore so kind of the blank one so i will add a new simulation event and i will select hide object tool hide object or tool by the way so it, this all also applies to tool and i will select phone case and click ok so if i double click this show logo here to run the program as as soon as i kind of run it uh, the logo appears so if i make the initial phone case phone case visible again and hide the one with the logo if i double click to run it one two three go the logo appears if you want to show a, an example of that, like in action, you can go to uh, our files here under answer. You have 04 pick and scan RDK logo. So this is another station that I won't cover now. I will potentially cover it uh, in a future video. But here, at least it was showing you kind of the result you could expect. So if I run this main program here, I'm picking one phone case. There's nothing on top of the phone case. Here I have a small kind of tool rotating the phone case, the stamp goes down and then the logo appears. So it will be run a second time here. So we start from a bunch of blank uh, phone case, rotation, stamp goes down, stamp apply, and then the robot pick uh, the phone case again and move it to the final box here. So that's a very simple but yet efficient way of creating some added value to your simulation or show that you that the robot actually did something to your part okay so let's create a new station again so that i can show you the same thing using uh, the gripper so control n to create a new station in your folder here under simulation event you will have gripper robotic 85 closed and gripper robotic 85 opened so if i drag and drop both of those here you will see them one on top of the other just like that and the goal would be to play uh, like 
open would be to hide the closed one and show the opened one and close would be the other way around. So showing the closed one and hiding the opened one. I would always recommend you to do the show first and then the hide after. The human eyes won't really or won't see as much difference if you have both uh, objects visible for a fraction of a second. But if you do the hide first and the show after, there's like a frame or two where the object will completely disappear and that will be easily catched by the human eye. So if you want to avoid the weird situation where for a frame or two you have no object, so you kind of have a blinking object, instead of having something transitioning, I would recommend you to do the show first and the hide a second. So let's create a first program, call it show, or in fact, close gripper. And we need another one here called open gripper. We need to add a solution instruction. It will be first here we need to hide or to show, sorry, if we need to close, we need to show the closed gripper here, Robotic uh, 85 closed, click OK. And if we want to uh, show it closed, we need to also hide the one we don't want to see anymore, which is the opened one, click OK. So here for the second one, we can control C these two here. And the only thing we need to do is kind of switch from showing the gripper closed to showing the gripper opened. And here, right click, modify from hiding the gripper open to hiding the gripper closed. So now we have both uh, visible, but if I say, okay, I wanna close the, the gripper, here only the closed one appear. And if I wanna sh show the opened one, here only the opened one appears. So this way it looks like, exactly like if I was kind of moving from one state to the other. So that's pretty cool. So now let's transfer that to our main program. So I can just pick those two here, honestly. I can control C those two here. I will go to pick and scan. I will control V those two here. For now, we need, as we did the copy and paste from one section to the other, remember that we need to right click here, robot, select the right robot. And here we need to relink those. So show gripper, it will be show gripper open here in this case. And in this case here, modify hide gripper closed. And here we will go for show gripper robotique here. So it will be uh, show gripper closed and hide gripper opened here. Perfect. Remember, so now we need to kind of trigger that at the right spot. Remember I showed, I, I told you it was a good thing to create the little drop and pick subroutines here. So here in those, we will simply add the call to open and close gripper. So the action will occur here in the pick, uh, every time the pick bottle is triggered or every time the drop bottle is triggered. So this way we don't, we don't have to chase down every single time we are opening or attaching or, or detaching an object from the tool. Uh, in this case, it's easy. We only have one, so we could have done it like norm normally, but imagine if you had to call or pick multiple objects and multiple, multiple subroutines, uh, how it can be a bit of a nightmare to track that down. So using subroutines like that and kind of put in subroutines into subroutines can be very useful. So I will go here, add instruction, a program call. So when I do drop bottle, the program call would be for uh, open gripper. So I want to open it, click OK, perfect. And then when it's time to pick the bottle, I need to add instruction program call and I need to close the gripper here. Click OK. And then there's one last thing, last place where I need to add this and it's in the init because we want to make sure that when we start the program, our gripper is actually opened. So that's not something that is reserved to uh, simulation. It's something that you want to do in real, a real product too. You want to make sure that your gripper is open before you actively go down and pick an object, otherwise you'll have a collision. So just after the go home here, we'll have a, or I can just use the uh, drop, drop is open. So I can control C this one here, control C and then control V. Perfect. 
So even if the call was like closed here, like it's the case now, if I go for init, it will open it up uh, properly. Just want to make sure that I'm not too fast. So 2.7, which would be enough. Okay, so now let's run our program and see if our small uh, animation take place as the way we wanted it. So let's go and select main program. Perfect here, the gripper is closing on the bottle, moving it here, and the gripper will be opening here. So that's a very basic animation. There's a way that I will show you in the future to create real two finger gripper that will actively move and not just appear from one state a stage to the other, but that's the easiest and fastest way of creating a such animation. So like I said, again, I want you to you, you guys to be able to, to walk before you run. Uh, this one easy, it's quickly done. I was able to show you that in like 10 minutes. Uh, the other one's a bit more complicated, but looks a bit better. So that's everything for this video. In the next one, we will add a simple pause to our program here so that we can simulate a certain scanning time here because for now we're scanning like automatically but that's not how uh, thing works so we have to just add a small uh, timer here a small pause so that's everything for this video i hope you find it helpful in any case have a great day guys Bye.